Hey everyone, today I'm here with our X4 1000 LT LCD as well as our 800 LT LCD. So we make our X4 LT LCDs in an 800 and a 1000. So people always say, hey, what's the difference? Well, there's really not much difference. As you look between this one and this one, it pretty much has the exact same features except for the motor. So the motor here is gonna be 65 horsepower. This one here is gonna be 86 horsepower. Now this is gonna give you a lot more torque, a lot more top end. Uh, this one here, it still has the same amount of towing capacity, but obviously you're gonna have a little less power, a little less torque. So uh, as far as comparison to the marketplace, this one's gonna be trending about 10% uh, higher in horsepower than the rest of the 800s out there. And this one is about 8% more than a lot of the 1000s that are out there today, a lot of the non-turbos, okay? So because there are 1000 turbos out there, which are your super sports, this is not that, it's a strict 1000cc engine. Now both of these run the CB Tech trail lock system, and that also runs a Kevlar, a stage four uh, heavy duty belt system, which is the best in the industry. We're the only guys that use that standard, at least to my knowledge. And uh, it's, it's, it's a very supreme value for both of these vehicles. So you're gonna spend a lot of money. We wanna make sure it's backed by the best quality components that, it, that you know, we can offer. Now we back our engines, which Odes makes. We make our own engines, been an engine uh, manufacturer for 25 years. We've been doing UTVs for nearly a decade. And we, we back our vehicles with a 60 month warranty, okay? Now, in comparison to every other competitor you're gonna see out there, the industry average standard is only 12 months. That's the, that's the average. So people always ask me, hey, is this a quality vehicle? Well, how can we make a quality vehicle and offer a warranty like this and still be in business if everything is breaking down? We can. So we have a product that is very well supported that is very well backed. We actually sell our engines and our power plants to many OEMs in the industry, and that's because we have a very well trusted engine, okay? So you know that when you buy this thing, it is gonna last you a long time. So let me explain the differences between some of the 800s and, and the 1000s that we have in addition. Uh, like I said, again, there's not that much. What you will see is we do have some graphics changes. Uh, you know, the, the 800s and the 1000s have a little bit different of graphics. And other than that, that's about it. Now, when you have an LCD, you're gonna come with some features that are kind of unique to our vehicles than anybody else out there. The first thing is you're gonna have these nice seats, and we'll show these to you here in just a minute, but our seats on the front, the, on the driver and the passenger are heated. Now we have heated standard seats. There's a couple OEMs that offer these in addition, but they're be eight or nine hundred dollar upgrades minimum, and, and that's this is giving you a lot of a lot of value. Uh, you know, some people say, well, why do I need a heated seat? Well, trust me, when you're camping and it's super cold out and you know you're waking up it's nice to get those heated seats going either for your ride or just to get the day started uh, if you do ride in cold environments then you can get the heated seats we you know we also partner with uh, side by side enclosures you can get the enclosure system for this and then of course you know you're driving and got your heated seats it's super cold maybe it's stone outside and you got your little enclosure going too so it's nice convenient features now, one thing that our vehicles uh, both offer is they come with a front winch. Now, this is a 3,500 pound nylon winch. And what's nice about that is, uh, you know, this is a very kind of evolving industry standard winch. And we were the, one of the first guys to ever use a standard on a UTV, setting that industry standard, you know, just the next step forward. The other thing is that our winches are wireless. We were the first manufacturer to develop that for UTVs. And as far as I know today, we're still the only one that offers that standard. So you get a standard wireless winch and what's nice about that is you know, we do give everybody a cord. So if you want to get the cord here and plug it in, you can stand about 10 feet away from your vehicle and still use your winch. The nice thing about the wireless is that obviously you have a remote. So if you want to pull your, your cord out 50 feet and then wrap it around and start pulling your vehicle out, or you, know, you have flexibility with these wireless winches. It's a very nice convenient feature. We're also running 29 inch tires on here. That's the largest in the industry standard for this type of class of vehicle. Again, we're all about setting the bar higher. We're all about setting the standard higher, and we're doing so with these vehicles. Uh, we also have the, the patented, and not just utility patent, but design patent, our Vilox suspension system. This is something we uh, developed about two years ago with Desert Concepts in California. And the reason we did this is because we said, look, we wanna get the best suspension in the industry standard on a vehicle we want to go boxed arm because all the guys who race all the trophy trucks out there are running boxed arm suspension system because it's the most stable it's the most secure it's the the suspension that has the least degree of variance over tubular suspension which is very antiquated technology that people are still using today it needs to be evolved so we evolved it you're the first to do so standard on a vehicle and what that's going to do is it's going to give you open up the hood here 
just like a car. Uh, you're going to have a suspension system here that has 14.5 inches of travel. Now the shocks that come standard on this, they are nitrogen filled. You can adjust the pressure in there as you want. You do have the ability to adjust the shocks. But hey, if you want to go a step further, you can buy the Elka suspension system, put it on here, and that's going to upgrade you to 16.5 inches of travel. Now these vehicles standard have 16 inches of ground clearance, which is going to be the highest ground clearance in the entire industry. So again, we're setting that bar higher again, adding value to the vehicle that you're not going to find anywhere else, no matter what you do. Okay. Now the other thing that we've done is we've made it very easy to work on this vehicle. You know, everything is right here. Everything is, is easy to work on. If you need to do maintenance, you know, we're all about just not saving money today, but we're about saving money on the long term. you know, long-term maintenance. So that's what we want to help you save money through the whole process. Okay. Now moving on to the next part of the vehicle here, what you're going to see on the front is you're going to have LED lights here on the front. Okay, we're one of the first guys to ever offer that standard on the vehicle, and we also have the new light bar for 2019. It's a very modern, kind of sleek down light bar that we've offered for these vehicles, and that is standard on, on these vehicles. Again, remember, the things I'm telling you, this is a standard vehicle. A lot of people say, hey, I go out there and I see a base vehicle with any other competitor, and then I have to add all the accessories on it. It's another six, $7,000. Not on these vehicles. We've already done it at the manufacturing level to save you cost, and money when you buy your vehicle. And that's why I want you to check out the comparison sheets because the comparison sheets will show you on our website and definitely look at these before you buy anywhere else is that we add value. So say these vehicles are, I'm gonna just throw a number out there, $17,000. Okay, let's just say you're gonna spend $17,000. Well, if you were to go buy a competitor, their price might be a couple thousand dollars higher. And then you're gonna start comparing apples to apples. They're gonna say, okay, let's add on the doors for $1,500. Let's add on the roof for $700. Let's add on the light bar, add on the window, and you know, add an upgraded tire package to really match our vehicles feature for feature. You're gonna to have to spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars more. It is ridiculous. You get value here. Then you have the warranty. If you were to go buy a warranty with another OEM to match even what we have to offer, you're gonna be spending another thousand dollars or more on just the extended warranty. So again, you're adding value and you're adding you know, savings to your vehicle just by purchasing us and you have you know, the headache gone because you don't have to go and add all these accessories, they're already here for you. Now, we also have the mirrors as you see, those seats right there are specific for our LT LCD models. So if you got a non-LCD, you're not gonna get those seats, you're gonna get our standard seats, okay? So you're gonna lose the heat, you're gonna lose those seats. These are the graphics that come on our cyber gray. This is our cyber gray automotive paint. Um, you don't get the same graphics. Uh, you get, you do get some little graphics here and there on the camos, but we don't want to add a bunch of graphics that are going to take away from this camo. This is true timber camo. This is a USA company and it is their new concealed camo. It's a, it's a great camo. It comes with a great warranty on this. Okay. And we also have the colored bodies in fire engine red, and we also have it in metallic blue. And then we also have it in pearl white with flake. Now this is uh, automotive paint. It's going to last you a long time. You're, you're going to be able to wash it just like your car. It's, it's extremely, extremely good stuff. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the back of the vehicle. So the first thing we have is the dump bed. Now you've got a nice big dump bed back here. We have a dump bed map back here. And you know we got this door really easy to use. You just click latch and you're done. So put your stuff back here. You have some interior hooks. If you want to put a carbon net back here, you can. You also have lockable storage on both sides of the vehicle. So this is a place that you can put your tools or your, the stuff you want to protect. Um, you know, obviously nothing is indestructible, but if someone wants to get your stuff, they will. But we've, hey, we've added a lock on here and we've made it as, as hard as we can uh, on people. You also have the rear bumper. And this is just a nice little feature of someone, as, let's just say, accidentally runs the back of you. Uh, this is a kind of a, we've made it I guess designed it so it's kind of like a crush bumper. So it's gonna start folding back so it doesn't damage your bed. I mean, obviously if they hit you hard enough, they're gonna they're gonna do some damage, but it's just there to protect you from uh, in your vehicle from different stuff you might run into on the trail. Now, this hitch system is really cool. It is a patented system by us, and you can add a rear winch to this. Now on the two doors, the rear winch comes standard on our LT models. On the four doors, it is optional, but it's already pre-wired. So all you have to do is just buy the winch body itself you already have the pre-wired, you already have the remote that comes with it, just buy the body and you're done. And this is a patented feature only to us. If you find it somewhere else, let us know because they're stealing our patent design. Okay. You do have AR and guard protections back here. You also have it in the front as well as you can see over here. 
so what I'm going to do now is going to go into the interior of the vehicle and show you all about that. So on the interior of the vehicle here, you have your screen, which is the most noticeable feature that we've added. And we were the first one to the industry to add a full LCD with no buttons. So this is full touchscreen. And then the next year what we did is that we gave you a 10.6 inch option. Now the, the nice thing you want to know about this is that on the 7 inch, it's just going to be like your car. So you have your, your maps, okay? you have your gauges, you have your personal settings as well. But there is a media option here. So you can add the ICE media package. And what it's going to do is it's going to allow you to sync your phone to your device with your music. Now you can already sync your phone now, so you're going to get those incoming messages, you're going to see the phone calls coming in, just like your car. But if you want to get the media feature, then all you have to do is add the ICE media package at your dealer, and then all you have to do at that point is just add the speaker bar. So then you can play everything through your system just like you typically would in your car. Now the 10.6 already comes with that ICE module, so all you have to do is add the speaker bar. So if you want the nice 10.6 glass display that's going to take up this whole area here, then you can upgrade to that feature. But this is going to be standard, is what you see here. And again, just like your car, you have all those features. It's a nice, wonderful touchscreen here. It shows everything that you need to see. Of course, your map. So uh, the nice thing about the maps is you can go through and track your trails. You can upload those trails to the internet. You can share it with your friends. Or you can you know, download from your other friends who did trails and then just put in the waypoints and then just track where they went. Uh, you do have a, a rear view mirror here, again your side mirrors, but sitting in the vehicle here, these seats are really, really nice because uh, they were designed here in the United States. They were designed by one of the local boat companies and they gave you some additional side support here for when you're, go, when you're rocking back and forth, you're going to have that support. You also have a little bit of a lower lumbar support here. And of course, the seats are gripper seats, so you're not going to be sliding around on them. They're not slick seats. Now, looking down here, again, these are heated, and there's your heater controls there. On the 10.6, they're actually in the screen, just like your car is going to be. So you want to add your heated seat function through the screen, get the 10.6. You want to get the 7, it's going to be right here. And it's conveniently located. Obviously, you got your two cup holders. You have an emergency brake right here. Your drive controls, you have low, high, neutral, reverse, and then park. Okay. On the inside here, we've got a couple different things in your glove box. So this comes standard with the UTV. You've got a tool kit here. You have two winch remotes. Again, if you get this vehicle, it doesn't come with the rear winch body, but you can add it. So now you've already got the remote, and that's going to be for your rear winch and your front winch. You have your owner's manuals that come with it. So what you're left with at this point is just the nice little storage compartment. It is lockable for if you want to put your phone and whatnot in there. You do have the 12 volt adapter in here for power. You know what we have here is the uh, dump bed. This is your up and your down. You have your blinkers, headlight. All that's going to turn off when I turn the headlights off. You've got your horn and this is your turf mode. So if you want to unlock the rear diff and just have one wheel going, you have your turf mode here. Four wheel drive system, it is going to be push button start, so just push your brake and then it can start. You have your emergency hazards and then your LED light bar. Okay? And the other nice thing that we have for this vehicle is you do have the ability to adjust this up and down, your, your steering, and then your seats are fully adjustable. Now, you can see, I'm about five foot ten here, and you see how much legroom I have here. We have the most interior leg space of any UTV, period. That just doesn't include the front on the four-door and the two-door, but it also includes the back. So I'll go back there and you can see with the seat all the way back how much space I have sitting back here. This is me at five foot 10, how much space I have. So if, 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 if I had a friend who was like six foot five sitting up there, I would still have plenty of space to be able to move my feet front and back. Now, if you're in the middle, your feet sit on this little ledge here, uh, but you do have a grab bar here. Uh, on the 1000s, it goes up here because you have a, a, a bigger engine than in the center. And the reason we put the engine in the center is for your stability. If you put it in the back, what you're going to have is it's going to be harder to cool the system. But what it's also going to do is you have a really long drive bar that goes to the front. And that can cause you to have issues if you ever get stuck in that four-wheel drive position. There's a really large uh, drive bar and it can get caused to bind up. So we keep things in the center. It's the best place to have the engine, period. Anybody will tell you that. Check out mid-engine rear-wheel drive cars. The sports cars have them in Ferraris and, and whatnot. And the reason they have them in mid-engine mid rear-wheel drive is that you, know, you have the ability to have a stable vehicle and you have total control over it. It gives you more stability. So that's why we have it up here. Uh, other people will tell us we're crazy, but science doesn't lie. Uh, 
You do have the nice feature here to have the window up in the, come over here, window up in the roof. And with the window up in the roof here, it gives you the ability to take out these two screws, pull this flap down, the window's gonna come out and then secure right here. You have your clamps on the inside of the glove box, so you just clamp in the window, done. So if you're riding and you know it starts raining, you have the option to put the window down. If, if you all of a sudden it stops raining, you wanna put it back up, you can. Uh, you know, people always say like, why would I need to do that? Well, just think about it. Have you ever been on the trail before and you know, it stops raining and everything's all muddy and, and whatnot, you know, you wanna get that air, well, you're just stuck. I mean, what are you gonna do? Just tie it to your roof, tie it to the back of the vehicle? No, it's gonna get broken. So you either have to ride with it or without it. There's no options or anything. Uh, but, you know, if you do wanna add the, uh, we do have a window wiper kit. So if you did wanna keep it and have the window wiper kit, you could add that. It's a, a additional option at your dealership, but it's already got pre-drilled pre holes in the window, it's a hard coat poly window. It's made in the USA, and uh, that's standard on all of our Zeus models. Uh, I think that's about it for these vehicles. I know it's a lot to go through, a lot to watch, a lot to talk about. But remember, check out the comparison videos. Compare apples to apples. The comparison sheets are really gonna help you out in your buying decisions. Remember the warranty. Ask competitors when you go in there, hey, what's your warranty like? How does it compare? Is this all the options? What is the total cost? And compare that to 